Hello all, Ruben Acevedo with the IEEE here, UTSA Student Branch. So the organization itself has been invited to be sponsored by the College of Engineering for a 5K run. And my idea is to do the entire run with a virtual reality headset strapped to my face the whole time. So I'm modifying this uh, plastic Google Cardboard project type deal where you place your cell phone inside of it. It's got two lenses inside, you put the phone in there, and then it uses the uh, gyrometer of your cell phone to understand where you're looking at, where you're pointing at, and you can simulate virtual reality. Well, I've modified it a little bit and made a hole in the bottom so that, y you see, once you close it, you can't interface the device anymore, you can't select things. So I've seen other models that have this open so that you can touch the screen with your thumb. So that's neat. Uh, I've also cut it open some other areas to allow for the headphone jack and everything. So currently, right now, my idea is to make a viewport for the camera on my phone. So that as I have the phone inside, I've downloaded uh, uh, an independent developer's homebrew app that simply does a side-by-side -side picture of the feed from the camera. And I'm hoping to do the run with the camera, with the VR, and see what's in front of me and do my first 5K in that fashion. What purpose does it serve? Not really anything outside of just bringing attention to VR and uh, showing people that it exists and that it's fully accessible and that it's not expensive. Alrighty, so by doing so I've simply got my knife. Uh, it's broken. It's like $1.97 at Walmart. And instead of cutting it properly, I simply dig in a little bit. There we go. And I twist and I twist and I twist. And then eventually a hole is created. And after making a series of holes in the general shape of a rectangle, I can then connect the dots with the blade and cut the viewport out. Yeah. So let's hope that goes over fairly well for me.